everybody, I'm Kim, back with another Beekeeper's Buzz, and this is my beekeeping buddy, Steph. Hi guys, we are coming to you right here from beautiful Northeastern Pennsylvania, and today we wanna to talk to you about what you should be doing in your very own bee yard during the month of September in the Northeast region. That's right, Steph. Uh, September is a big transitional month in mm -hmm. the hive. Um, the bees are wrapping up honey production and they are starting to prep for winter. They really are. Yeah. And we're here to help you do the same. Absolutely we are. It's a very, very important time that we want to start doing hive inspections, but gently. So first up, hive inspections. You want to keep, keep them short and sweet this time of year. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. Uh, yeah, the days are getting cooler and opening the hive too often can break the propolis seal and it can also let valuable heat escape. So if you do inspect, uh, aim for warm afternoons above about 60 degrees and what you'll want to look for is queen right status, um, amount of brood, uh, food stores, signs of diseases or pests. And you'll also want to be on the lookout for some robbing behavior. Right. So robbing season is real, y'all. As nectar dries up, bees get desperate, and that means they're going to be aggressive. Mm -hmm. If you notice bees fighting at the entrance or a sudden spike in activity mm -hmm. right out front of the hive, you might have robbers. So you'll want to keep looking at that. You'll want to reduce entrances if necessary, especially on smaller or weaker colonies. Absolutely. And don't spill syrup, guys. When you're feeding, clean up spills and dries quickly. You're basically ringing the dinner bell for those robber bees and yellow jackets. Ask us how we know. Please ask us. <laughs> Also, do you uh, leave your honey or do you take it, Kim? Well, this is a big decision in September. Mm -hmm. Do you harvest or do you leave it for the bees? If you haven't harvested yet, now's the last call. Right, so you just wanna make sure that you're leaving them at least 80 to 100 pounds of honey for winter. In the Northeast, they'll need that to survive. Sure, if they don't have enough, don't panic. Okay. You can supplement with grow sweet mm. or a two to one sugar syrup to help them backfill their stores. Okay. So feeding pro sweet, pro sweet, pro sweet, pro Se sweet, pro sweet. <laughs> <laughs> September is your final chance to really feed them that pro sweet or thick syrup. So that's going to be two parts sugar to one part water. Okay. Uh, yeah. So if you have to make that, it mimics the consistency of honey and is great for backfilling the brood nest before winter. After mid to late September, once it's cold, you can then switch to our winter patties um, or our Hive Alive fondant patties or even dried sugar. And also it's gonna be mite management time, it's crucial. Right, so if you haven't done your Varroa mite check, you wanna do it now, seriously, because September is your last real chance to really do your knockdown mite treatments before winter bees are gonna be raised. And the winter bees are your survival crew. If they're loaded with mites and viruses, they will not be able to make it through winter. Ask us how we know. <laughs> <laughs> Use something effective and legal for your region, such as Formic Pro, Apigard, Apivar, even an oxalic acid dribble, whatever your treatment plan is. Sure, but remember, read the labels. Not all treatments are safe if you've got your honey supers on. Mm -hmm. You'll also want to combine wheat colonies at this time. Mm -hmm. A wheat colony with no queen and barely any bees. In my opinion, I wouldn't try to save it and have them you know, make a new queen. I would actually try to combine with a stronger colony in September. Sure, you can use a newspaper method. You just want to make sure there is no queen present in your wheat high before you combine them. So you're gonna stack the boxes with newspaper between them and the bees will just chew their way through and merge peacefully. Also, mm -hmm. clean up your gear and prep. This is a great time to clean out any dead outs, freeze any frames that might have wax moths and also scrub any equipment you won't be using over the winter time. And you'll want to order what you need for spring, uh, such as frames, foundation, feeders, because you know once the holidays mm. get here, it won't be something that we think about until we're trying to make a split right in the middle of spring. Yep. And we don't have everything we need at that particular time. Every time. <laughs> happens every spring, guys. 
Also, consider your winter setup. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you don't need to insulate just yet, but it's smart to start planning for that. Um, think about moisture control especially. Will you use a bee cozy mm -hmm. or a quilt box? And if you use mouse guards, make sure you have them ready to go on by October. Yes. Um, so, thank you so much. Uh, we want to sum it up here. September is all about preparing protecting and planning. You wanna wrap up your inspections, monitor and treat for mites, and you wanna feed them thick syrup if necessary. You wanna combine your weak hives, start thinking about winter setup, and, and yes, don't forget to sit back and enjoy watching your girls settle down for the season. They've worked really hard and so have you. And Absolutely. if you see a plant and want more information about it, please check out our plant identifier on the Man Lake app. It's a great way to learn about the plants growing around your specific area, including what is toxic to your bees. Mm, that's, that's very good. informative. Absolutely. Um, thanks for hanging out with us today. If you've got any questions at all, please drop them in the comments below, or you can reach out to us. We love chatting about bees. Kim, you know who else loves to talk about bees too? Bella. Oh. Do you know who Bella is? She's our virtual beekeeping assistant and you can actually go find her on our Man Lake app as well. I also heard that she likes to hang out on our website too. <laughs> so you can talk to her there as well. So go say hi to Bella. And we'll see you see in the, the bee yard. yard. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Bye.